You can use Task Scheduler to create a scheduled task to shut down your PC daily at a specified time. Scheduling a task via Task Scheduler is preferred if you need to repeat a task daily, weekly, or once a month. Press the Win key to open the Windows search bar. Type Task Scheduler and click on the app from the search result to open it. In the Task Scheduler window, click on Action and select Create Basic Task. In the Basic Task window, type a name for the task. For example, type Shutdown as the name. You can also provide a description of the task. Next, select a trigger point. You can choose from daily, weekly, monthly, one time, etc. For this video, I will select the daily trigger to schedule a daily shutdown at a specific time. Next, set the start date and time for the recurring shutdown and click Next. In the Action tab, select Start a Program and click Next. Type shutdown.exe in the program or script field and click Next. Review the changes and click Finish to create and add the new task to your Windows schedule. That's it. The task scheduler will trigger the shutdown action daily at your specified time and power off your PC. If you want, you can add a trigger condition to your shutdown task to determine when the task should run. This is helpful if you want to run the shutdown task after a specified period of inactivity. For this video, we will modify the shutdown task created earlier. If you want, you can create a new task as well. Right-click your existing shutdown task in the Task Scheduler and select Properties. Open the Conditions tab in the Properties window. Select Start the task only if the computer is idle for the option. In both the time fields, enter the same time. For example, if you enter 10 minutes, the task scheduler will wait for the system to be idle for 10 minutes before triggering the shutdown task. You can choose anywhere from a few minutes to two hours. Click OK to save the changes. To stop automatic Windows shutdown, you'll need to delete or disable the scheduled task in Windows Task Scheduler. Disabling it is best if you only want to stop it for a temporary amount of time, but if you're tired of your PC turning off by itself, it's best to delete it instead. Right-click on your Windows desktop and select New Then Shortcut. In the Shortcut Wizard, type the following command in the Type the Location of the Item field. In the command, 300 represents the number of seconds for the timer. You can change the seconds as per your need. Next, type a name for your shortcut. For example, type Shutdown Timer. Next, right-click on the Shutdown Timer Desktop shortcut and select Properties. In the Shortcut tab, click on the Change icon. Select an icon that represents the shortcut best. For this video, I will select the Power icon. You can double-click on the Shutdown Timer shortcut to initiate a shutdown. To cancel the shutdown, use the shutdown-a command in command prompt. <laughs> 